Business Brain, episode 535 for Wednesday, March 27th, World Theater Day. A business that deserves to be in business like any other, 2024. And welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take a few ideas, we dissect them, we analyze them, we discuss them so that we can each use them to tune our business brains every single time we get together. Sponsors for this episode include Shopify.com slash Business Brain, where you can go to sign up for your $1 per month trial period. We'll talk more in depth about that in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And I'm still out here in uh, kind of sunny California, back from the snow. We were up in nice. Tahoe, Tahoe this weekend. It was amazing. Tons of nice. snow, like like two or three feet over the weekend. Oh, wow. That's that a was, lot. That's we a big got, deal. Actually, it, where I am in New Hampshire, we only got, let's say, four or five inches okay. maybe uh, yeah. on Saturday. But we're kind of down near the coast here. The inner portions and northern portions of the state got like you, you know, 20 inches, 25 yeah. inches kind of thing. So it was, yeah. it was fun. We had a great time. It's always that's good great. when you're inside sitting by the fire, Yeah, you know, relaxing with good friends. That's the time to be stuck in the snow, not that, like when it, you're driving over the mountain. No, <laughs> it, it was perfect. I was supposed to have a band rehearsal on Saturday morning and two of the people that would have come were coming from maybe about an hour away. And so they didn't, it was, it was snowing actively on Saturday morning. They're like, ah, let's push off. And so we did. But it gave me the day to like sit by the fire and we nice. played some board games with the family and just hung. And it was yeah, s- super awesome. chill and super laid back. So, yeah, I love it too. While I was there, I heard this fact, this uh, little tidbit about the Hoover Dam. Okay? okay. And I was thinking along the lines, I'm a big fan. We talk about it a lot on the show, persistence and bullheaded persistence. And yes. I was just arguing with somebody today about their com- kind of this early bird gets the worm thing. And I was like, nope, nope, <laughs> that's not the way it works. Uh, but this this uh, tidbit of information that I heard was that a friend of ours had recently gone to the Hoover Dam. Okay. And at the bottom of the Hoover Dam, it's massively, I guess, wide with concrete, cement. I mean, yes. Maybe there's a difference, but let's just say concrete. I sure. think it's like 600 feet wide. It's some crazy number like that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And the concrete is still not done curing. Yes. I remember that we were able to do a tour when we were there in like the late nineties. You can't do it. The the tour we did, you can't do anymore, but but yeah. Cause I think after nine 11, all all that. Yeah. They were down there pretty deep, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. These, the concrete that's down here, it it will be a hundred years for it to cure. And it was built like in the the thirties or something. So it's got another 10 year, whatever, supposedly yeah. years to, uh, to cure. And I thought, man, that like, what a great an- analogy to talk about being persistent and, and how to create success because here's, you know, Hoover Dam after all these years and, you know, the gazillions of gallons of water, it holds back or whatever energy it produces. Yeah. And it's still not done. You know, it's still not done. Yeah. 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 I just, I, I, as we were talking about today and thinking about, you know, how we've made it how we've done this show for 10 years when i tell people we've done this show for 10 years they're like what you know and so it's yeah. just being persistent paying off you know showing up every time uh and just you know getting it done it, yeah it's true and maybe if your friends were down that far maybe that they, they when we did it they called it the whole damn tour i think uh, they were because he was and talking so maybe about that's how you opened went, up again yeah. yeah you went to some pretty narrow tunnels yes that you know uh they're way down at the bottom. They were talking about how they didn't use rebar at all. They use these refrigeration things. I'm exactly. But yeah. I thought that was interesting too. They didn't, because they didn't think they needed it. It would cure faster without the rebar. Makes so I mean, sense. Could you imagine, yeah. would that be 200 years or? I don't know. Yeah. Years? But all great things take time. And if so many people quit right when it's starting to go like this and it, and you know, it's, it's just, especially in business that we talk about on the show, it's just grinding it, grinding it. I mean, you know, we did this show for two years before 
anything really I yeah. think, interesting happened and yeah. sponsors started coming regularly. And yep. I mean, it was interesting for us. I loved the first two years too. Um, yeah, but we were finding our way. I mean, in, we in a sense, we are still finding our way. We are. In, in that we're always open to, to morphing it based on yeah. what we're interested in, what you're interested in, like all of those things. So, yeah. 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 So Be- if you're interested in, in businessbrain.show. I was just going to say that. Tell us what you want to hear. All right, folks, quick challenge for you. In 10 seconds, how many things can you name that never stop growing? Got your list? All right, well, here's one for the books. Business is thriving on our sponsor, Shopify. Let me spill the beans on a little secret. I launched a merchandise store for another venture of mine on Shopify, and guess what? We went from zero to our first ka-ching in less than a day. Because that's the sound you hear when you make a sale on Shopify. It was like watching a plant grow in fast forward. Shopify isn't just a platform. It's your business's growth spurt in a box. From launching your online empire to opening your first brick and mortar and all the way up to your millionth order and beyond, Shopify is your ride or die. And for those of you who think selling is just about having a catchy jingle, think again. With Shopify Collective, you're not just selling, you're storytelling with a catalog of products from brands you adore. Increase your cart value with Shopify Bundles. And believe me, bundling is as satisfying as popping bubble wrap. Mmm, so good. Enter Shopify Magic, your AI-powered Merlin, for everything from captivating content to picking the perfect email timing. And the best part? It's free for every Shopify seller. Imagine having a genie that helps you generate instant FAQ answers or whips up product descriptions that make your items irresistible. With Shopify, you're not just opening a store, you're launching a rocket ship. So if you're ready to grow your business from a seedling to a towering tree, sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash businessbrain, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com dot com slash business brain now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash business brain and our thanks to shopify for sponsoring this episode so speaking of evolving the the show based on our personal interests you've been really focused on the x platform lately i want to kind of shine a light on this a little bit yeah i have and i've been talking about a lot but i'll i'll I want to broaden the conversation a little bit, okay, and talk about what it, how it's been helping me in other areas as well. Got it. So I'm making, I'm trying to make this transition from product sales, which I've done my whole life, and yes. talked about it here on the show ad nauseum, uh, <laughs> to selling my knowledge and being able to somehow monetize what I know, be an advisor, coach, that kind of thing. But that's that's far down the road. That's future casting way down the road. To okay, see how that happens, yeah. and. Excuse me, and I started to, uh, you know, play around with X. You've been on it for a while. When it was Twitter, uh, we still call it Twitter. It's, I don't know yeah, how many years it's going to go away, but um, yeah. and for a while, I was just kind of plugging away. I, I think I started with like thirty followers, and I didn't really know what I was doing, just like sure. everything else. So, yeah, right. Uh, but I love that zero to one aspect of you know figuring out something else, and it, and it I got going with it, and I stumbled into a group of uh, guys that were helping each other grow. And then they kind of like a mastermind group. Yeah. In, informally. And yeah, I got yeah. their attention. Well, nope. I mean, a lot of mastermind groups are informal. Yeah. Like that's, that's right. it, yeah. it was. Yeah. Informal. And nobody was paying any attention to me on X and I couldn't figure out why. Sure. Now I know uh, it's just the way things work. It, you're a certain level. But I started doing the T-shirt quote. You know, I always say that yeah. should be a T-shirt. We talk about it. So I created some graphics and started posting these T-shirt images into these posts of these bigger accounts. Like that's a great quote you did or a great line you said. And I would take a picture or I'd make a picture and post it. I got some yeah. attention. Right. Met with these, you know, talked with these other groups uh, or guys, and they posted, "Hey, this has helped us. We've been helping each other in the background. We're going to let five people come in." and do the same with you and start this group and see if it could help you okay oh. sign up here i was like oh yeah man i told i totally want to sign up well it turns out about 175 people also 
wanted it. And so wow. everybody signed up. So they formalized this group. They called it Growth Madness. I think that's going to change. But okay. and built this concept kind of around the March Madness brackets kind of thing, which I don't know anything about. But, you know, it's just kind of elimination. Sure, it's stuff. something to – yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was – and they built a Slack, you know, created a Slack uh, workspace. They had uh, folks come in on a weekly basis and do Zoom calls. to We could get tips on growing on X and everything. But along the way, something – uh really powerful started happening we got broken up into pods of 10 okay. people in each pod to compete on a pod on a, le a group level and on an individual level and it was all focused on growing followers because that's okay you know, that's who we want we want to have some kind of network influence whatever sure uh, and my you know niche is small business and talking just like we are here i i basically post stuff that i've talked about here and that i'm going to talk about and what I found was really fascinating is that uh, it reminded me how I really kind of isolated myself after selling Tech Restore. I started this that handbag experiment, and that did great. Did almost $4 million in business. It was great. All, all, all good, but all by myself. Right, right. And, and I've kind of been, uh, I mean, even though I consider myself an outsider, I've been members of groups and you know, gone to trade shows. We've done them here, conferences, sure. and all stuff, and and that was really missing. And I feel, and I, it, it, I'm, I'm, it's a little hyperbole, but I kind of feel like X saved me because I immediately connected with, not immediately. Let me right, but up. yeah, taking yeah. months, right? But yeah. I got involved with a group of other account holders, and I talk with them every day. I share ideas with them. We talk business. We do business therapy, just like we do here. Yeah, and we focus on growth. We're helping to grow our account. You know, do all these kinds of things. But it's but it's much more than that. And it reminded me the importance of peer groups and advisory groups or whoever. And yep. you know, we've had people on the show that have talked about joining the CEO. We had the 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 founder of. Is it Roundtable of CEO? CEO Roundtable? CEO Roundtable, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Whitke, yeah. yeah, I forget yeah. his first name. But um, that show where he talked about people joining his group, and then we had members of that group come on the show um, that uh, talked about the benefit of it. So I, I just wanted to mention it again. How and, and if you're interested in this growth madness thing on X, you can just message me, and I'll tell you how. They're going to do another cohort is another name for it i guess yeah. uh cohorts a group yeah cohorts a group <laughs> yeah that's right fancy name and so you can sign up for the next round i i'm somehow still in it there's eight uh nine of us left after oh wow that and i'm still in it and so uh i'm grinding away every day and learning all right so, so I, tell, I, tell me what you think of this yeah concept. no no no, no. It, i like when you told me you were joining this, I thought, well, this is interesting. Like he'll pay more attention on yeah. X and, and learn the platform, which is fine. It, the idea of focusing on growing followers is something I've seen folks do on X. I've never focused on it. Right. But you I've, have a lot. You've got over 7,000, right? Yeah. I've got like 7,000 followers, but it, yeah, it was very, or, but it was never it's organic, right? It was organic. Right. Yes. And, yes. and, 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 all just sort of um I, I call it like the ripple effect like it it's yes. just it, the i don't want to say accidental but you have a very big network your I, flywheel right. is I, much yes. bigger in, so in, and from I a also digital perspective started on twitter like yeah. not quite at day one but pretty early on yes and the first people that were on twitter were a tech audience right so uh, it all yes, made yes. sense and 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 that's when I, you know, when people started complaining about Twitter getting full of politics and all that other crap. You said this to me. Yeah, yeah I remember. This I, is, you just like, well, mine it, isn't. I'm like, mine isn't. And now and I know. it never has been. Neither right? is mine. Mine's all it, business related. It, it depends on what you, you look at. It's right? what you want it to be and yeah. what you engage with and all that stuff. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah, of course. Over and over. Yeah. <laughs> and so, it, but like I've watched people pay to grow their followers, right? Like, oh, yeah, you know, and idea, all of that. Right. And it's like, well. I don't know that the number matters as much as some people think it does, because you certainly don't earn money based nope. on the number un unless you do, unless you're in some kind of competition where you, there may be a prize at the end or something. But so I'm curious to you, 
And it's, I think you've answered this question in, in what you were explaining, but I'm going to ask it again yeah. to you. What is of the, the, you've been part of this mastermind group for the last, what, two months or something? A couple months, yeah. Yeah. What's the, what's the most valuable, currently most valuable effect of having been part of this group? The collaboration with other people. That's okay. That no no makes doubt sense about it. To me. Even yeah. people in my group, but even yep. people. Here's a deal with X, if or Twitter, if you have less than a thousand followers, you you're kind of, if you want exposure and you're trying to grow a network, yeah, posting is not the best use of your time. It's just it just doesn't work that way. Interesting. And I, could, I could go more. To, you're really uh, better to spend your time commenting on other posts sure engaging exposure, with other people that makes gaining sense. credibility but what happens is why yeah, you're but doing then what's the this is the part where i like you i totally agree with you but also what you say makes logical sense like if you just post and there's yeah. no one following you no it, one's gonna see it yes, right yes it when you start commenting to that's a good way to get seen and then some of those people will then choose to follow yeah, you're you. You're building credibility. You're hopefully. building your credibility and all that yeah. stuff. But what is the value of that? Like that's okay. the part that yeah. it often people get hung up on. Oh, but I gain more followers. It's like cool. Yes, yeah. you're, you're looking your for quality. <laughs> yeah, you're looking for quality followers. Yep. But let me tell you how it kind of works. You're, you're getting and and I'm new at this but i'm yeah, learning no, I, 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 yeah i'm, I'm uh, curious I, to be your perspective here yeah. yeah and i and there's been a couple of like mind-blowing parts and sure uh one of them was when uh one of my f people i'm involved in like the guy who's coaching our pod made the comment like oh well, you guys are are getting dms and then jumping on calls right and i said what and uh, and that's how it works and i'm i do it every day i had two this morning so the way it works, you're building this network up. You're yep. building your credibility. You're then starting to share things. A, a good example is I had about 6,000 posts to get me to 1,000 followers, okay? Okay. And this is, just, this, this is just a random, but on, on post 6,000, so I made it to 1,000. Yeah. And on my 6,000 and one. And first. First, thank you. You got it. <laughs> my 6,000 and first post, I gained 1,200 followers. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because yeah. I got more, so much more exposure. Yes, and yes, yes. So then what happens is people get, you start getting DMs and people want to talk to you and ask you about a certain thing you may have posted about. And then they'll say, can, can, I, can we schedule a call? I would like to, like a discovery call for a half hour. Yep. And those people you're talking to. And I had a call with the guy that's running a global talent business yep. earlier this morning that wanted some tips. And I had a... Um, what was my other call? Oh, then I had a guy, uh, a call from a person who's in the ETA space, uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneurship through acquisition. Oh, yeah. Which is a big on X on yep. Twitter. Yep. And so you're meeting these people and building this network. And that's how, like we had Bodhi yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. on from uh, I Rent Dumpsters and the, the Striker Digital, who's the SEO guy. Yep. So he's my guy. If anybody asks me now about SEO, I'm like, oh, you should talk to Bodhi. Yeah. And right. that's value. So I'm... I'm building up my tank of adding value. No, this is interesting, right? Because Does that make sense? I, yeah, yeah. I, I've always, I, I early on in my, you know, as I got involved in business, I noticed that there were some people that were excellent networkers, and I don't just mean to their own benefit. In fact, yes, the, what made them excellent was they seemed to know everybody, and they would introduce people. With no expectation connectors. of yep. yeah connectors, right? Yep. And but I also noticed that these people who were expert connectors had these <laughs> fabulous careers, yes, right? Because <laughs> they were it's the the value of reciprocity, right? Yeah, they would yes. throw this out there, you and it, it dawned on me it was like, oh, I see. In fact, the guy who convinced me to start podcasting, this guy Mike Dunn, who at the time was working for I think he was working for Hearst at the time, okay, uh, in their M and A department. But it was like, oh, interesting. Here's this guy working in the M and A department, fairly, you know, powerful there. It seemed anyway. And really, what he spends his time, his downtime, if we call it that, doing, is just connecting people randomly. Like, yeah. it, it, you know, and it's like he's just basically throwing. Like, it's valuable to the other people. Yes. But the value to him 
is nebulous. It's, a, it's hard. Moment. This is a long game. But it's the long game. It, it, no, it, yes. that's it. It's the and, long game. And, yeah. and it's kind of like a digital rotary club, chamber yeah. commerce, whatever you want to talk about it. It's, hey, how can I help? If you go to my uh, profile page, at Shannon Jean, you'll see it just says, how can I help? Yeah. Because I know how to help because I've done this for a long time. Right. I've done right. this show for a decade. So I kind of have a sense of what you might need help with, you know? Oh, and what I found is very interesting is on these calls, which I probably do five or more a week. Wow. Yeah. And is that a lot of the people, the main way I'm kind of helping them is mindset. Yep. And I can see that. Right? Sure. And, and perception and talking through things, but I'm getting a ton out of it because Everybody likes to feel like they have something to offer. Yeah. Right. And so, uh, and the group of people that I'm involved in are all in different industries. You know, I have a finance, a, a financial planner that owns laundromats, uh, another guy who's a website builder that does this, I'll, I'll roast your website thing and help sure, people sure. make their websites better. Another guy who's a cabinet builder, uh, another guy in India who's an ops guy. No, you're, you're you know, okay. So you're using X. You you grew your followers to a point where you could start to actually attract valuable yes. people. Correct. And now you're using that network to play the long game, right? So I'm I'm game. curious to come back to you on this in like a year. Yeah, it'll be great. And see what you know because there will be something that like you're not um you're not being manipulative here, no, but but all. there will be something that happens at some point, and it yes. it might be tomorrow, but more than likely it'll be within the next eighteen months, probably. Right, yeah. where there's substantial or substantive value to you, and you'll be able to point and say, you know, this wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have joined this business partnership. I wouldn't have what whatever it is that leads yes. to it being valuable to you. In a in a like financially valuable, I'll say. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know, whatever somehow. it is, you'll be able to trace the path and say, you know, I met this entrepreneur because he was introduced to me by a woman Correct. that I connected with on X six months ago, that's and exactly now I'm right. in this new business, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yes, that, I, that, I believe that's, that's your that's, where that's your yeah. plan. You right? Mean, I talked about. I think we discussed no, I get this. It. Yeah, and, yeah, and I it, get it. The, I think I talked about this last week, week before about. You know, you start something new and you have to put a ton of energy into it. And then and it, it pays you back. And yep. then eventually, at some point, the energy has to start to come back to you yes. or it's not going to work. You'll fail, right. I right. think. Well, I'm definitely getting the energy back. That's good. There's, there's yeah. no doubt about it. So I feel like there's something good here. And it just, uh, you know, uh, reminded me to mention and to talk about, you know, what groups don't go it alone, I guess is what it is. The, yeah. the journey is better with friends, they say, or whatever. But you got to be able to, like, there's there's risk there. There's, oh, there's dude, fear I've, there because you're absolutely. putting yourself out there in a, yeah. in a it, it, at first absolutely. anyway, in an environment where you are not the expert. Why like, do you yeah. think we did a show on the alter ego effect a right? few weeks ago? <laughs> I, I, because yeah. I'm trying to understand yeah. how not to get destroyed in the comments by jackasses and trolls. Sure. And, and to have a, a, a shield, if you will. Yeah. And part yeah, of yeah. having that shield is having a group behind you. I feel like I'm on the other side of the velvet rope. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So yeah, anyway, if cool. you want to learn more this about great. growth madness yeah. at Shannon Jean, come follow me because I'm still in the competition. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and then I'd be glad to give you some more feedback and get you signed up on the waiting list because I think they're they're taking one. Amazing. That's cool. very cool. Did it Thanks. cost anything to join this group? Just out of curiosity. It does not, did, this group that I joined didn't cost yeah. anything. I don't know about the future. If there's, sure, sure. Because there's some expenses involved with the yeah. Slack group stuff. But oh, yeah, yeah, nominal, yeah. nominal. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right. Well. Thanks for thanks for walking through that. I and thanks, hey, for, thanks letting for me thanks for listening. It. Thanks yeah. for hearing. I'm I'm in it in the thick of it. So sharing about it is great. Thank yeah, you. it's great. Very cool, folks. Feedback at businessbrain.show is another way to find us. Make sure you check out Shopify.com/businessbrain. Sign up for that one dollar per month trial period, and uh, keep on living that charmed life. We will uh, we'll see you on Friday. <laughs>